Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is, what time? 10 after 9. I got up at 6.30, shower shaved, and then edited the uh, the Tully's coffee video and put that out there because I need to start getting these videos out as quickly as possible. Um, so right now I want to go to the Philosopher's Walk. And I was gonna I was gonna walk it, but it's an hour and a half. <laughs> Don't really want to walk an hour and a half. I thought it was if it was less than an hour, I'd do it, but it's just too long. Uh, so I have to figure out how to get on a bus. I've never done that in Japan before. Let's do it together. And then after we do that, we're gonna come back here, go to that temple that's behind the train station or in front of the bus, north of the train station, behind the tower. Uh, and then we'll be booking it back to Tokyo. We're gonna be meeting up with uh, Paul from Critical East Japan and start making videos with Paul. Can't wait. Let's go. So I'm not sure if you just like go up to a bus and you give them money and you get on, or you buy a ticket. Things I have to figure out by myself in this trip. <laughs> These lineups are insane. This is why I walked yesterday. <laughs> but uh, it looks like a bus ticket center. What Let's check doing? that out. Big lineup. One day city bus. I'm thinking this. Sorry. No problem. So this is the JR line. I could get on this bus for free. But I think it's only to go to large, like farther places. Like if I wanted to go to Tokyo or whatever, you need to go here. But because it does say no city bus, so I don't think this applies to me. Oh, hi, Okasaimas. Uh, I need to go here uh, to the Philosopher's Walk. Okay. So, which bus do I do it? Well, I recommend take bus number 5 or 17 from A to platform. You can uh, use 100 as well. Okay. Yeah, whatever you think is the best road. <laughs> Arigato. Have a good day. No exit. Sorry. Sorry. That's fine. So this is where we are. And she's saying take the A15 and then A217. It gets me to there. And then that's the temple. And she said just walk over to this thing. So, wish me luck. I'm gonna grab uh, something to eat for a snack. So it looks like you have to uh, get a tray, get your tongs. I already got my money out to save myself. Uh, something smells really sweet, and I'm trying to figure out which one it is. Oh, man, this thing looks pretty good. I don't know what it is. Tuna and mayonnaise with green perilia. I guess we'll do that. And then something sweet on the side. And I want something sweet. Not a, maybe it's this thing that's tweaking me. Cinnamon donut. There we go. We're in. That's what we're getting. Ohio uh, Kasaima. And hot coffee? Why? Yes. Coffee and sugar milk. Please. Inside, okay? Arigato. Thank you. Okay, I've counted out my money just so I can give it to him when I get him. I'm not sure where these, these people are going, but it's always a lineup here. But I have to make myself over to A1. There it is. So it looks like this is the A platform. There's the B is over there. And I look for A1. Looks like we're here, A1. Oh, it looks like it says right on it. The temple. Nice.
That was strange. You had to like throw it into a little catcher and then it tallies up. He's watching. But uh, I'm not sure what would happen if you try to get off the back door. But. Cool. First bus ride. Okay, Philosopher's Walk. Looks like we're close. There's the mountain. Finally got a chance to eat my tuna bun. It's not bad. Very, um, fresh. It's like mayonnaise, tuna, little crusties on it. It's good. I think it's pretty neat that they can park a whole car right on their front doorstep, basically. Because you have to, that's their driveway. There's another one here, they got, they actually have a uh, car park. I love those cars, man, I'd buy one. I'd buy one of these, that is so cool. Look at that, just enough room for the car and some stuff. Neat. So it looks like I, I can see cherry blossoms up ahead. We can only hope and pray that the cherry blossoms are in full bloom on the philosopher's walk. Now it's time to try this uh, cinnamon bun. Mmm. With apples. It's all over my lips, isn't it? Yes, it is. You guys got speakers. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. Lots of cinnamon, lots of sugar. That'll give me the energy I need. I met two people on the bus. Um, the gentleman was named Mark, he's from Australia, and uh, he came up to Canada, Vancouver, and met a Canadian who's a Russian Canadian, and uh, they hooked up, and they're together, that's very cool, and uh, we, I, we talked all the way here, uh, they got off like two stops before me, and they're going somewhere else today, but they walked all the way here from Kyoto, downtown area, I guess by the train station, just trying to stay out of the wind, and uh, so I might actually attempt to walk back. Uh, one one of the days here while I'm here, I want to hit 25,000 steps. 25,000 steps is my goal. 30 would be even cooler. So, next stop, Philosopher's Walk. Sorry for the delay. All right, so here in lies the Philosopher Path. I've said it already once, but uh, I'm here probably like a week or two too early. The buds are like almost going to explode. Check this out. They are really close to opening up. I'm not sure how much time they need to open up, but yeah, it would have been definitely prettier. It's pretty as it is, but it would have been that next, you know, plus go out and get it now plus type rating oh huge carp big big suckers 
And of course, because this walk is so famous, people have turned these houses into shops. I bet they were originally houses for sure. But you can buy purses and there was a pottery place back there. You can learn to do pottery. And it said the pottery experience. It's very cool. So I just uh, FaceTimed Carol and uh, she said, oh, because I said if I'm, I th sorry, I just got distracted by oranges. There's an orange tree. I didn't even know that they grew oranges in, in Japan. But anyway, uh, I just FaceTimed Carol and said, uh, this is what the philosopher's thing looks like. And apparently sometime today, this lady who I was just talking to says that sh they, they should start blossoming today over the next week, uh, which is very cool. Uh, and before Carol, or before I came to Japan, I asked Carol, is there anything you want from Japan? And she's like, a, a really nice scarf. And lo and behold, there's this scarf lady here. She actually designs all these colors. Um, so I just FaceTimed Carol and actually shopped with Carol on the FaceTime. And she picked this uh, Sakura type um, scarf. And then I asked her if she could show me how to tie it. And so she did. Once again, I am super excited and happy that I, I go to a place where I think I'm just going to do like a path and a walk and then I end up on these amazing streets that sell everything from t-shirts, which I'm going to grab right now, to food and there's probably going to be some, even more food up the way. I, I just did a food review of the, uh, the, ge the ge gyoza at this little shop here and uh, I'll try and put the address of the, the woman who, who sold it. I don't even know what street this is. but. Uh, Jinsu something may or am I and uh, yeah I'm gonna, they're like what is that right a thousand yen yeah I guess ten bucks yeah that's cool huh gifts for Ben and me just what I need a nice Japanese hat that would be cool look at this is really cool that's a little too much for me that's way too much for me but this looks good. I kind of like this blue. One thing I can't stand, oh, sem Semura, uh, is that little brown thing on the back. I'll have to check that out in a second. But uh, lots of shirts to pick from. I'm not sure which one, which one Ben would like the most. Hmm, maybe the one with the Japanese writing on it. <laughs> Lots of stuff to look at, lots of stuff to buy. Holy. Okay. Ice cream in a bun. This is green tea in a bun. Ah. <laughs> That's funny. 